Noah Matson here. I'm a climate change expert at Defenders of Wildlife. You know, our planet is heating up, but it's not just the temperatures that we have to worry about. It's the water. As the Earth's surface warms, water evaporates faster from lakes and rivers, from the soil, and even from the leaves of plants. Dry areas are becoming drier, and that means droughts are becoming more severe. Droughts are taking a toll on agriculture, our communities, and wildlife around the world and here at home. Extended droughts are bad for animals that live on land, and also those that live in the water, especially species that need abundant, cold, or fast-flowing water. As the water level drops, streams get slower, warmer, and hold less oxygen. That is bad news for lots of aquatic creatures. Even worse, the effects of drought on wildlife get compounded when people divert more of the remaining water for cities and farms. So what can we do to address drought without harming our nation's wildlife? First, we can reduce water consumption so that we're better prepared when droughts do come. Cities and agricultural producers are already making great strides in improving water use efficiency, but much more needs to be done. Second, we can conserve and protect our watersheds and restore wetlands in riparian areas. Healthy wetlands act like sponges that collect rainwater, releasing it downstream more slowly, keeping water available for both wildlife and people for a longer period of time. Finally, we can improve the quality of that water by reducing the amount of fertilizers, toxic chemicals, and other pollutants that we send into our waterways. This is especially important for maintaining water quality during drought conditions, when any pollutants in the water become more concentrated as the water levels drop. Healthier watersheds are better for everyone, people, plants, and animals. Our warming world means that some parts of the country will be facing drought in many, if not most, years. But with innovative and thoughtful strategies, we can alleviate the impact of drought and wildlife at the same time.